So what is one of the most simplest topics that you should definitely not miss for your CAPM exam on project management? It's the PMO. So let's dive right into it with these sample CAPM exam practice questions so you can test your knowledge and dominate your CAPM and PMP exam. Just like our previous quizzes, be sure to pause the video right after I read the question and in the comment section below, write down your answer and a comment of why you think it's correct. And afterwards, hit that comment button. So without further ado, let's get started. Question 1. What type of a PMO would be responsible for the results of a project? Is it A. Compliant, B. Supportive, C. Controlling, or D. Directive? Which do you think is the correct answer? If you chose D, then you're correct. Because a directive PMO has the highest level of control over a project, it would be the one that's most responsible for the success and the results of a project. Question 2. In which type of PMO does the PMO provide the least level of control over projects? A. Supportive B. Controlling C. Directive or D. Compliant The correct answer is A. A supportive PMO serves as the foundation and provides the support for the project managers by providing templates, procedures, and standardized processes as well as best practices for managing projects. In this sense, a supportive PMO acts primarily as a helping consultant and therefore has very low control over projects. A controlling PMO has an additional layer on top of a supportive PMO by providing support as well as driving compliance with the organization's procedures and policies. A directive PMO has the most amount of control and authority over a project since they directly manage a project, are responsible for the project's success and failure, and assign project managers to the different projects in the organization. Question 3. As a project manager, you've been recently assigned several projects to initiate and launch with the team. The PMO has provided you with lessons learned and templates that you can use to manage these projects. However, you are ultimately responsible for the project's success. In this scenario, which type of PMO is represented here? Is it A. Compliant, B. Controlling, C. Directive, or D. Supportive? The correct answer is D. In this situation, because the PMO is not the one responsible for the success of the project, but still provides you with the support that you need in the form of lessons learned and templates, this is an example of a supportive PMO. By the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, and if you want more weekly quizzes just like this one to help you pass your CAPM and PMP certification, show your support by smashing the like button and hit subscribe so you'll be notified of the next video. On to our next question. Question 4. Which of the following are true statements about the project management office? Select all that apply. A. The PMO provides help and direction for helping lead and manage projects. B. The PMO offers additional resources to help facilitate project development. C. In a controlling PMO, the PMO is ultimately responsible for the success and results of a project. Or D. All PMOs have the same level of control over projects. The correct answer is A and B. Through process of elimination, only with a directive PMO is the project success ultimately held responsible by the PMO. And lastly, all PMOs do not have the same level of control over projects. Question 5. True or false? The PMO may be considered a project stakeholder. Is it true or false? Which answer did you choose? If you selected true, then you're correct. A project stakeholder can include anyone who may be impacted by the project and may provide a source of knowledge and experience for helping lead and manage the project. So how did you do? Were you able to get all answers correct? Let me know and share it down in the comment section below. Also, what topic was the most challenging for you and what are future topics that you'd like me to cover in future upcoming videos to help you pass your CAPM and PMP certification exam? Question of the day for you. In your career, with your current or previous organizations, have you worked with a PMO? And if so, what type of a PMO was it? I'd love to hear from you, so let me know by writing it down in the comment section below. By the way, be sure to subscribe in the link down below to be notified for when I launch my website, which will feature free weekly practice questions, the best exam prep material, and free resources that you can use to pass and dominate your PMP and CAPM exam. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link below. 
So thank you so much for checking out today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more CAPM and PMP training videos and free weekly quizzes just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, smash that like button, share this video with a friend, and give this video a huge thumbs up. I'm Alvin the PM, helping you pass and dominate your CAPM and PMP exam, and I'll see you in next week's video.